This Daily Dose is brought to you by Pirate.Black. Ah. Well, you know, privacy in and of itself is something I think everybody is starting to understand the value of because it is rapidly disappearing from us and, and consent and the rest of these things. It was George Gilder who wrote a book uh, just a couple of years ago talking about life after Google. And uh, what he was saying, Lutz, was the fact that, uh, you know, Google's business model, as a matter of fact, all the big corporations' models on uh, the Internet, is to monetize your privacy. Uh, they, they, get, they sell your privacy – and your personal data to everybody else, that is their business model. They're set up to eliminate right. privacy. And it's not just selling you out uh, to people who want to sell you uh, an ice cream bar, okay? It's also selling you out to the government. <laughs> and and so they're selling – you're being bought and sold on these different places. And, and so he said, I think that there, it's time for us to have a new paradigm, which makes this business model of Google and the rest of these people based on, uh, you know, using – information about you to make money. I think it's people are going to start demanding that. And he said, uh, even though I'm in my 80s, I think we're going to see that pretty soon. And I think when we see what happened with Trudeau and others, it makes it even more apparent that people are starting to understand the value of privacy and how it can be abused and misused against them. Just to take a look at all the people who went to um, January the 6th who didn't do anything that was violent, didn't even walk into an open Capitol building. Some people walked in there. They, they didn't fight any guards to get in there, but they walked in there, but they grabbed their information off of their phone and other things and turning their life into absolute hell and persecuting them. Uh, you know, just because you're not doing anything wrong doesn't mean that the government won't use your violated privacy to come after you. So that's one of the reasons why uh, privacy is important. Um, and, and I think you're right at the juncture of this, and, and that's a key thing. Let me ask you, you know, when you, uh, you're, you're talking about how, uh, you know, we have the portals going into the uh, different, um, uh, different uh, crypto exchanges, uh, at what point, uh, do you start getting this privacy? Because, you know, if you go through one of these portals, how do you how do you buy uh, the private currency? And how is this uh, kept uh, private while this mining and things like that are going on? I mean, w and address some of the issues. Well, let's talk about that first. Yeah. Uh, how do you get into this uh, private world with, uh, privately? <laughs> so, so, so you, there's, there's a few ways of doing it. One is local Monero .co is the website where people can can purchase Monero and then using Monero like you would use Bitcoin, you could send it over to other exchanges like Polarity or uh, Trade Ogre, which has Pirate, and you could just buy, buy the Pirate with Monero there and it's all KYC free. And that's what people have been using for probably the last couple of years to tell, get some wait, Pirate. Tell, um, people also, what, tell people what KYC is. No, uh, know your customer. Okay. So what the government likes to do is they like to deputize these businesses, right? <laughs> That's right. And they say, and and and, and they say, hey, listen, uh, you got to rat out all your loyal customers because you know we told you to. And uh, and, and th these poor guys, they have to go. You know, they, they they actually have to rat out their friends, their customers that have been, you know, their customers for years. Oh yeah. So yeah, that's what AML KYC is. They they are. Uh, you know, they actually cause problems. I, I believe they cause problems for businesses uh, because, you know, it, it, you've developed these friendships and these relationships. Right. And then all of a sudden you've got to take this, this personal private information and you've got to give it to strangers. Why would you do that to your friend? Well, you look at, look at for years, we've had these know your customer rules with banks, right? And what do we see this last mm -hmm. two years? We had, uh, you know, the deputization of restaurants and every kind of public venue to say, okay, now you're going to ask people about their health and medical records. That's never been allowed before. Uh, you know, you're not allowed to ask me, uh, as some people have rightly said, you want to ask me about my vaccination status? Well, then I want you to tell me about your um, sexual disease status. Are, are you, have you had tests for, for sexually transmitted diseases? And are you uh, clear of that or whatever? We've never been allowed to ask people questions about their medical background before, but they deputized all these people. And, and so what they're doing is the, these same types of concepts, this know your customer stuff from the banks, metastasizing out to everybody and making them all law enforcement officers with the same kind of situation, holding a gun to their head and saying, if you don't act as our law enforcement arm, we're going to put you out of business, which is what they've been doing to financial institutions for a long time. Yep. Yep. So, 100%. So, so what's coming is the new 
the new tech economy, I call it, right? The new economy, the technical economy. And and I think that's coming through blockchain. Now, one block, one coin is not going to be the answer. All of them are going to be the answer. So there's a lot of solutions coming uh, to decentralize the exchanges. So you have uh, things like Atomic Dex, which is a decentralized solution for exchanges right now. And it works. It works. It's hard to use, but it works. There's going to be a lot more decentralized exchanges coming out. Uh, another one called Cordal is another one. And th there's, there's tons more. Blockstack, I think, has one. And, and we're going to see that grow. And once decentralized exchanges become a commonplace for people to go get crypto, uh, those centralized exchanges that they're choking right now will, will be done. Yeah. It, it, at that point, it will be your choice if you want to participate in their KYC baloney. Follow the treasure to pirate.black because financial privacy today is freedom tomorrow. Ah.